Hello, my witchy friends. It's Audrey with Stay Magical. I'm a mess. Um, I am back home finally. Um, I'm still training, but I'm training in my home store. I have had the worst head cold ever. So, I didn't even bother with makeup or anything. So, we're just going to do this because I got a witch's moon box. And I got it a couple days ago, but I really didn't feel good. You know I didn't feel good if I didn't open the box right away. So, let's... Let's do this. Now, I think I told you that I was going to... Oops, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Job's going really well. I really like it. Um, I was out of town, like I said. It was three and a half weeks, so I had to... On Mondays, I would drive up there, um, and then Fridays, I would come home. And like one week, the Friday, I didn't finish work until midnight, so it was like 2 o'clock in the morning at home. That was a bit rough. But all been worth it. One thing I've realized, and this box really was sealed. I mean, I still don't have it out of there. I've totally opened it to the outer box. Um, here we go. There we go. But anyway, one thing I've realized is that sometimes you need to have a situation in your life that's really horrible. Like the job I had. I mean, the job before that I lasted like 15 years. This I only, and I only left, you know, I didn't really want to leave. But anyway, um, but it was a, you know, it was time. The job I took, that I, I only had it for a year, and that's the shortest I've ever had a job. I mean, I'm not a job hopper. But I realized that I needed to go down that path with this horrible, it was really a horrible company. The, my boss and everything was wretched. But the company itself was really bad too. So I needed to I needed that in my life so that I could stop taking advantage. Or not taking advantage. Um like I said, I'm tired. Um taking for granted, that's what I'm trying to say. Taking for granted the situation that I have now. So I I, I needed that. I think I needed that. So there you go. So there's that. But it's been good. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, I already am in love. Nope, can't smell anything. I really, oh, I smelled a little bit of something there. But we have our oracle card, a blessing to heal a relationship. Look how pretty that is. Okay, there's the back. I love these cards. Okay, I actually started a journal where I'm putting them in there. Oh, look. Oh, there's two, um, there's two artworks this time. So let's start. This is called. Okay, so this is the Circle of M Magic, um, uh, the Salwan edition. Okay, so I'm gonna I move that thing. I don't have that. So I'm just gonna set that right there so we can look at this. Okay, so as we come to an end of the harvest season, the dark half of the year surrounds us with the hope of new beginnings. Now I don't know about you guys, but here. It's actually cold today. I'm in West Virginia. It's actually quite chilly and breezy. It feels like fall. It's fantastic. Um, we welcome this time as a sense of honor, with a sense of honor, sorry. With Samhain upon us, we cast our circle of magic and become one with our purest selves, for we know that our intentions are the most powerful force behind manifestation. In this most anticipated co collection, we have curated and sourced one-of-a-kind items that can be found nowhere else. Join us this sacred month as we steep through the veil. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, so let's look at the artwork since it's on top. This one says, A Spell to Honor the, An the Ancestors. How nice that is. And that gives you an incantation, and it gives you the ingredients and everything. So... I'll put that there for you. Isn't that pretty? You can put that in your book of shadows or however you normally do it. And this says the magical wand. And it talks about, considered one of the more important magical tools, the wand has inspired magical thinking and manifestations for millennia. Beginning in its rudimentary prehistoric form, the wand began as the club, physically exacting social order. It later evolved into a nomadic traveler staff, the pastoral, the pastoral 
Shepherd's Crook, the Ruler Scepter, and eventually the Magician's Wand. And then she goes on to talk about the different wand, you know, different things. So we'll have to, so let's find these on here. Okay, so I don't want to see any, and there is the extra piece of paper, parchment. I'm getting quite a collection of those because I haven't really used any of them. Okay, so I'm looking for artwork. Da, 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 da. I don't want to see anything. Um, da. Okay. Okay, the personalized oracle reading. We have met, meditated and selected a card from the Blessed Bee Blessings Cards deck by Lucy Cavid, Cavid, Cavendish, Cavendish to place inside your box. This card holds a simple blessing to assist you on the pressing challenges you may be facing. Okay, so that's that, so let's see here. The parchment paper they talk about. I don't see the artwork in here. Oh, here, honoring the ancestor spell artwork. So the other one's probably right here. Nope, it's not, so. But anyway, it says honoring the ancestor spell artwork to accompany your Samhain spell collection. We, oh, let's see, now I'm really getting excited about this box. I really have no idea what's in it, but it's a Salon spell collection, so I am so excited. We have a special Book of Shadows page created for you to reverence during your ritual. This artwork includes instructions, ingredients, and in the incantation for honoring your ancestors and those who have passed before us. Artwork by Adrian Alden. Okay, so now let, let's see. What was, what was the other one? Oh, the magical wand. I don't want to know. Uh, it may be a matter of I find it later because I am not seeing anything. Up. Oh, here, oh no, that's the same one. Uh, I don't see anything about this one. The other one, but we'll see. All right, so we have our box. Excited. We have our, oh, there's all the things in here. Okay, so this is what... It looks like so far. Let me go this way. Lots of spaghettis all over my floor. I, I am finding these things everywhere, every month now. So let's start here with one of the herbs. Something Santa. Let's see what it is. Santa. Don't look, don't look. Okay, it's Herba Santa Leaf. As you work towards enlightenment and realization during ritual, include the leaves of the Yoruba Santa around your physical self to enhance your psychic powers, enabling beauty to be present. Also a protective herb. Herba Santa is a wonderful addition to spells of pure intent. The gender is female. The magical properties are beauty and healing. Okay, Sophia, give me one second. Uh, Psychic powers and protection. Sophia wants to join us. Come here, Sophia. I'm not sure how I'm going to manage this. Come here, Sophia. Come here. Come here. Yes. Sophia wants to say hi. Say yes. She's been kind of funny ever since I got back. Um, you know, each week she missed me more and more, I think. Let's see. Oh, that smells pretty good. What do you think? It smells pretty good. But this is what they look like. Okay, so let's find, I know there's probably another bag in here. Or what was in here, Sophia? Let's see what's in here. I, if there's another bag of herbs, I'm not seeing it, so we'll just keep going. Well, here we got the salt, the bath salts. Okay, well, let's see what it smells like, Sophia. Let's see, before we read about it. Oh, that's strong. What do you think it is? Yeah. You don't need it. All right, let's read about the bath salt. This one would actually really, it smells good. It's, it, it's a little strong, it's potent. Okay, so here, hold on. Ba okay, it's the Al alchemical goddess um, sacred salt. With Samhain upon us, we welcome the wisdom of the crone as we set upon our path into the dark half of the year, holding the lessons and know-how of the crone. The crone resembles the essence of the, don't do that, alchemical goddess. For she is able to turn base metals into pure gold. Stop, Sophia. Okay. We have created the sacred salt with the intention of opening your spiritual gateways to receive wisdom from the ancestors and spirit guides waiting to pass along their knowledge. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. 
allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Really? I mean, I, I have the worst time with that. Okay. Um, as you clear your mind and visualize a golden aura, your inner chatter, just so, oh, wait a minute. You're imagining, oh, sorry. As you clear your mind and visualize a golden aura, imagine yourself um, charging your internal magnet and repositioning your compass, knowing that the wisdom of the crone is with you as a protective barrier. Visualize yourself becoming stronger and stronger until you have reached the strength you have set out to obtain. We have enchanted the sacred salt with frankincense and myrrh oils, as well as lavender, um, mer I can never say this one, margarine, mar mer anyway, and chrysanthemum. I can say chrysanthemum, but I can't say this other one. Marjoram, marjoram, anyway, herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our crone magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Okay, so there's that, and that's, I think it's the myrrh I'm smelling in here. That's very nice. You want to look? You want to see what else is in the box? That's just, I guess we're just going to reach because she's got, so I have it over here. This appears to be an oil. Okay. Let's see, I love the oils. Does Sophia love the oils? Oh, there's one of the other dogs talking. Don't you bark. Oh, she got choked. This is Queen of Wands oil. So let's find it on the thing. Queen of Wands magical oil. All right, let's find it. There's where it is. See, I can't do this reverse thing. That's why I can't do those flight games. Okay, the Queen of Wands is a gleaming example of fire and strength. We have brewed <clears throat> the magical anointing oil for the purpose of intensifying the energy. Let's get this up here a little bit, Sophia. The energy. Um, <laughs> I lost it. Oh, that sits within your sacred tools and objects as you, as you active. I think that's spelled wrong. As you active your wand, jewelry, etc., with this potent. I don't think the word active is what they meant. With this potent oil, visualize the intended magical purpose you wish to bring about from said item. This will add to the intention being charged into the items that you um, are anointing and it adds conviction to your work. We have enchanted the magical oil with sandalwood, myrrh, cinnamon bark, frankincense oils, and we have included cinnamon and chrysanthemum flowers as well. Inside your oil, you'll find um, a Lemurian crystal as it personifies um, openness, oneness in to your aura. We have also included a special mixture of intensified magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Now, what was it on there that I'm hoping it smells like? Uh, let's see here. That's the salt. I lost track. Um, there was one thing that she said. Oh, the cinnamon. I hope it smells like cinnamon. Oh, that's nice. It doesn't, you don't necessarily smell the cinnamon, but you know it's there. And there's, I see flower buds in there, or at the top. Mmm, that smells really good. Oh, it smells, oh, now you can really smell the cinnamon. Once I put it on my skin. Oh, you smell it, do you? You smell it? You smell it? I think Sophia's giving her thumbs up. That's really nice. It's very fall. Very sour. Very nice. All right, what's next? Okay, here's a candle, I think. No, it's not a candle. I want to wait. I don't know what that is, but I want to wait because that, that felt important. Okay, so we have our incense. Oh, that smells nice. I'm going to have a black nose. Okay, this is Spirit Guide Incense. As you light the Spirit Guide Incense included in this collection and allow the interesting and complex fragrance float through the sacred your sacred space be still focus your energy on becoming one with the environment that surrounds you visualize the warmth of support that enters through the thinning of the veil allow the smoke of the spirit guides mm -hmm. incense to bring with it a sense of companionship and unity 
as your spirit guides uh, message to to your sen uh, well, message to your senses. They don't tell us what it is, but it's nice. It is nice. Ooh, I like that. I'm. Oh, there go guys. Guys, be good. Okay. Stop. Okay, so there's three more things in here. Let's see, is there? Okay, so now I can get rid of this box. Okay. And all the spaghettis. All right, so. Oh, no, there's four more things because there is a candle. There usually is a candle. Okay, I love these candles. If I could have opened the paper correctly. Oh, oh this one's really pretty. Oh, it's got a lot of smell to it. All right. Okay, so let's, there's three, there's two bags this month and something in there. Okay, so let's see, I saw something about a candle. That's why I knew there was a candle. Okay, uh, parchment paper, oracle reading, the scent of the incense. Oh, I don't want to see that. The salt, the magical, well, here it is. As above, so below, candle with spell. We have created this candle with the purpose of expanding your magical abilities by connecting with the embodiment of universal power. Um, as we work with the very powerful phrase, as above, so below, we connect the paths of measurable, immeasurable power and wisdom. As you light the candle, envision the star surrounding you, connecting to the energy that runs through you, becoming one. This candle, this candle has been enchanted with spearmint essential oil. That isn't what I'm smelling. That's probably something from the box though too. We have included a special mixture of vitality magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. This candle is wrapped in a spell from our book of shadows that we recommend um, reciting out loud three to seven times while burning the candle. Mm. That's very nice. That is very nice. Okay, so which one do we want to do next? That doesn't feel... I, I, I'm, I don't know. There's so many. There's three. All right, let's do this one. Let's see what this one is. See, it's a nice... Oh, I just don't want it to be over. Oh, this... Oh, my. What is this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And you can't even see, I mean, I can see the thing. So let's see the, what this says here. This is an enlightenment crystal. Okay, we have included in this collection a large amethyst. And it is, it's heavy. Look at that. I've got to the point where I really like these chunky ones a lot now. I mean, look at that. I'm going to drop it. Um, we have included in this collection a large amethyst point to accompany you during ritual. The purpose of this wonderful stone is to allow you to release and let go of anger, frustration, disappointment, and anxiety so that you are able to fully realize your intentional capabilities. Also a strong stone of the goddess, this beautiful point has been charged with the energy of, a, of spiritual power and conviction. Allow the stone to amplify the power that settles beneath unwanted energy so that you are able to fully realize the strength you can manifest within your circle of magic. Affirmation, I hold within me an unlimited research of beauty and magic. I open the pathways within myself to manifest my intentions fully. How, and I don't even think I had it on camera, but look. Oh my heavens. I mean, look at, oh, I can't let my daughter see this one. She will steal this one. So that's going to go with my other chunky ones. Okay, so... I guess I'll go for the other bag. I guess I'll go for the other bag. And then do the other one later. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm so happy with this. So what is this? Oh, this has got stuff. Oh, this has got a lot of stuff in it. I probably should have waited. We have, oh, look at this. Okay, so okay, so there's mum. What is this? It looks like a little spell kit. Let's see here. Um... Okay, so. Oh, the Magical One Book of Shadows um, artwork. I did find that. It says the beautiful book of um, shadows artwork was hand drawn and finished specifically for the handcraft magic wand. Oh, see, now I know what's in there. 
Okay, well, I shouldn't have read it. Okay, well, we'll okay, anyway, so we'll read that here in a minute. The Samhain Spell Collection. We have placed items inside of your brown drawstring bag, which is this one. And they always have such nice bags. Brown drawstring bag that are to be used for the honoring of the ancestor spell to be cast within the circle, your circle of magic. The magical items included are as following. A Samhain candle and hand-painted... Um, I don't see the ruin they're talking about. Is this? They're talking about some kind of. Oh, 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 oh. When you move, if you move the stick, you see it. Okay, it's part of Palisanto. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's, there's a ruin. Um, ruin, ruin, ruin. How do you say it? Can you see it? Right. There. Okay, so let's see what it's saying about it. Okay, so with hand painted. Othila, Othila, O-T-H-I-L-A, ruin. This hand-rolled Samhain candle has been placed in the collection with the intention of lighting the way for your ancestral spirits to visit and connect. We have hand-painted the Othila, 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 I think so, ruin on the candle to personify the true meaning of heart, inheritance, and family. We left without herb or oil, left without herb or oil, this candle can be dressed with the oils that you have been that have a secret meaning to you and your personal journey and um, intention. So this is a Palo Santo holy wood to accompany the candle. Um, we have twined a stick of it um, to the bundle. Uh, Palo Santo has been revered for many years as holy wood for the healing and spiritual properties connected to its energy and growth. As you light your stick of Palo Santo, and allow the beautiful aroma to fill your space. Allow the smoke to be carried away with its, uh, with it, to carry away with it your anxieties and emotional attachments. As you use the sacred wood in ritual, you will notice your ability to deepen your spiritual connection becoming stronger, the energy of your vibration rising higher and your creativity becoming more vibrant. Allow the sacred, this sacred tool to amplify your ability to connect with your ancestors and spirit guides. Oh, well, that's really neat. Okay, now this, believe it or not, I think is tea. Or is this tea? See, they've got me confused. This says mum. So I'm going to say this is chrysanthemums or mum flowers have been used in protecting spells and sachets for many ages. Also... A seasonal flower of Samhain. 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 Um, Mum is a perfect addition to your ancestral altar. As you perform your spell work within the circle of your circle of magic, sprinkle mum on each corner to protect from unwanted spirits and visitors. The buds of the chrysanthemum could also be rolled around your um, Samhain candle to bring energies of protection and peace to your ancestors on their path. The gender is masculine, the planet's sun, the element's fire, and the power is protection. Okay, so I'm going to assume... Oh, it's a flowering tea. Oh, I have seen these. I almost ordered some of these. Okay, so here, this is a double happiness honoring tea. As you steep your wonderful flowering tea, take time to meditate and connect with the energies of loved ones who have passed. This delicious tea blooms as it steeps, creating a beautiful flower. If you've never seen the videos of these, oh, you should go check it out. <coughs> Sophia. Sophia. Okay, so it says here, um, included in this bud are green tea, two chrysanthemum flowers, um, some kind of orb, amar, I don't even want to try, and jasmine flowers. And the directions are to place one tea bud into loop into loose, uh, your loose tea infuser and place into five um, a five cup glass teapot. Pour just below boiling water into the tea infuser and the teapot and watch the leaves un unfurl into an exquisite flower. Now allow five to three to five minutes to steep or desired strength. Flower and tea may be re-steeped two more times. How fantastic is that? I, I really, I was going to order, I found it, I even went and looked on Amazon. They were kind of expensive. Okay, we, have, we know what it is now because I went and read what 
the other thing. So, but let's see. Finally, getting able to use those scissors without totally killing my hand. It's got some weight to it, guys. And look at the nice little package. We know what it is. Let's see. Oh, it's got a crystal on the end. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Okay, here's the end with the crystal. It's got like a crystal point. And then, can you see the detail on there? That is really, really pretty. Okay, let's read about it. Okay. I'm very happy with this. Okay, so handcrafted magic wand with sewn sheets. This uniquely crafted wand has was created by hand specifically for the witch's moon. Each wand has been crafted each wand that has been crafted is different from the next as it has been carved and crafted one at a time. To accompany your wand, a custom sewn sheath has been created for the protection and retention of magical energies. This wand has been fashioned from teak wood and embellished with a quartz crystal point um, to further amplify the potency of magical energies. Teak wood provides many um, auspicious energies and blessings. Auspicious, yes. Its water energy has natural healing properties, stimulating um, prosperous, healthy growth, and new opportunities. It generates stability, reduces stress, and increases mental awareness. It feels really nice. It really does. I wasn't sure if I would connect to it. I made my own, and it's very bare bones. Very. But I really like this one. Um, mental, okay. It generates stability, reduces stress, and increases mental awareness and clarity. Teak wood naturally raises consciousness and harmonizes body and soul to new vibrations. As an extension of the practitioner, the wand's power derives from the practitioner's ability. Um, let's see here. Knowledge and imagination. In ritual, the wand unites the body, the mind, and the soul with the collective universal consciousness tapping into the full source of all energies associated with the element of air, the wand um, enhances psychic abilities and powers of divination, prophecy, um, and revelation. With the element of air, the wand, oh, I already read that. Okay, as a practical tool, the wand allows us to um, delineate sacred spaces from the mundane, whether casting a protective circle for a ritual or influence. Gosh, it's, sorry, it's, I can feel it down to my elbow. It's weird. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Sorry, it was very distracting. We have placed this wand. Okay. Oh, okay. We've placed this wand in the collection for the purpose of casting a protective circle in preparation for rituals and specific the spell to honor the ancestors. If you are new to working with a wand or casting circles, take time to become comfortable with the process. Allow yourself to conduct, connect to the wand in your own unique way, opening beyond its tip, the portal within your circle of magic. That is so nice. Okay, and there's the crystal. It's very well made. Somebody, somebody took the time to do this. I am going to have to find more unboxing videos because I want to see everybody's wand now, since they're all different. I want to see them all. Well, this has been a very nice box this time. I'm very excited. Now, I did order a Samhain kit from another um, company, so we'll, I'll be doing an unboxing of that, and we'll probably be doing some things. But So, in this box, I am so excited. We got the, the handcrafted wand with the hand-sewn sheath. Okay, we got the, where's the brown bag? <laughs> it's too much stuff this time. Here's the brown bag. The brown bag came with the mums, the chrysanthemum buds, the small candle with the ruin, and the Palo Santo stick, and then it came with the tea. So let's see what else we've got. The... Yerba Santa, the Yerba Santa. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands oil, which I, oh, I can still smell it on me, I don't need to open it. 
We got the Spell Candle with Book of Shadows page and spell. We got the Incense. Mm. We got the Bath Salts. Oh, I was like, what's in that bag? We got the Maroon bag with the Amethyst Point. That is so gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. Okay, and then what else? We got the Oracle card. This is a lot of stuff this time. There's a lot of stuff. The Oracle card. Look at the back of this card. I don't know if I showed you the back of this card, but the back of this card is really pretty. Makes me want to go out and buy all these things, but I'm not going to. Okay, and then we have the spell to honor the ancestors, which I very well may do a video on this since we have all the stuff. Let's see the stuff you need. You need the ancestral candle, which they gave you, the chrysanthemum flower they gave you. Oh, a packet. Oh, so they actually, everything in that thing goes along with this. Oh, I see now. Okay, so, oh, so yeah, we, should, we need to do this together. Okay, I'll let you know when. Okay, so we'll do it sometime before so that one. Um, and this tells you how to charge your, your wand and everything. Okay, and so I think that's it. Now, I had told you in one of my past videos that I had gone to a little shop in one of the towns, that, the town that I was staying in, and I never did get around to doing a video. So, and like I said, I've been, I've been between being tired and working so much, and then I got sick. So I do have some of the stuff here. I don't have all, I, some of it I gave away. Um, I tend to gift things, but like I, I got these, it, the place was called Rose, the Rosemary House in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So I got this. It's, it, there was two of them in here. I gave one of them away, the little, excuse me, spud struggle. Then I got a, bo a bag of dragon's blood, the little rocks here. And I bought more than this. Oh, this was just too, oh, here. Um, this was just too cute. And remember, we were, I did the video on my travel altar, and I thought this was just too adorable. So, so my little travel witchy box. So I think this is going to go in there. See, look how tiny it is. I did feel a little out of source not having all my stuff for all that time. But I also, and so I found I didn't do a whole lot. You know what I mean? I didn't do um, a lot of my magical things that I normally do. Um, I did teach some, so that helped. I, I was able to teach some, um, some things to some people. Now, one thing I had asked my mom, and that's why I bought this one thing I'm going to show you, this last thing, but this, I, I did get a little bottle of rose oil. Um, I like the smell of rose oil, and it's, it tends to be very expensive, and I knew I didn't need much, but I did want some for some um, love workings. So I, um, I bought a little, what kind of bag is this? Um, I did buy a little teeny bottle of rose oil. I'll put that with the rest of my oils. Um, but anyway, I'd asked my mom, because my grandmother lived to 99, and she did, a, I mean, she, like, she made cakes, let's say, and she would go out in the yard and get English walnuts off the ground, and she used those to make the cakes, and that kind of thing, and she just, she didn't waste anything, and it reminded me, kind of like a, a you know, a kitchen witch or a hedge witch, mmm, that smells so good. So I asked her, my, I asked my mom, who doesn't has no idea that you know this is this is my path because I did I just I haven't gone with family to this to that point. But anyway, um, I asked my mom about my grandmother um, if she ever like used nature in that you know in any kind of medicinal way or anything. And she told me that whenever they got sick, and there was eleven children, and if whenever they got sick like cough and stuff, she would go out to the yard and pull down some cherry bark and boil a tea and give that to them and, and my mom said it worked very well. So when I was in this store, I saw that they had in bulk, you know, those bulk containers, wild cherry bar. So I I bought some just because of nothing else. I feel very connected to my grandmother through it and in that story. So I thought that was kind of neat. So, you know, just I don't even know where or how I'll use it. I haven't even looked up the properties of it yet. I just thought it was, you know, it was a connection. So that was kind of nice. That was kind of nice. But anyway, so, uh, oh, oh no, I did get one more thing at that store. It's sitting right here. I forgot all about it. See, I haven't even opened this up because I wanted to show you guys. And this, 
this was only three dollars and 25 cents so let me show you what it was and someone might say wow that's too much or someone else might say wow that was a good deal i fell in love with this i think you guys all know i love my bottles i love my bottles look at this one how nice is that not sure where i'm putting it yet probably some kind of oil maybe castor oil or something because you don't use a whole lot of but isn't that pretty but anyway i did okay so let me see here so i did get a new set of tarot um a beginner's deck is what that you know it's like a beginner set that i think i'm going i see i keep thinking and then i thought my life keeps changing um it'll happen when it happens i guess is what what you can say i'm gonna try to start putting stuff away see i put these i have a little jar a little, i guess you call it a cup here that i put these little candles in the ones i haven't burned yet and there's a spell in here but anyway um they may not all fit i'm gonna have to start burning them but anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. That's terrible. I'm terrible, 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 terrible. Oh, the tarot. I am going to start now with this new job. Um, I don't find that I'm really like going to the lunchroom or anything. Well, not the lunchroom, the break room or anything. Um, I tend to go sit out in my car. So I think because it's just nice outside and it's, it's, it's nicer. It's not too hot. It's not too cold and all that kind of stuff. So what I think I'm going to start doing is really, really start doing my research during my lunch break in the car because, I mean, it's, I, I really think that would be fun. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. Um, but we, I am going to get more towards the, the whole... Um, Oh, I did bring home another one. I was trying to, I burned it. I forgot. Okay, but anyway, um, I am so distractible, aren't I? What can I say? But anyway, so that that's gonna start picking up now. Um, I'm gonna have a steady schedule. It's not gonna be crazy. Um, so it's definitely going to be um, something I'm gonna definitely get into more and more because I want to learn. I want to well, I want to relearn, and I want to be able to more than anything intu intuitively read the cards. Again, I mean, I used to do it and, you know, as part of my practice and I made money doing it and I just, it, but it's been so long that I don't even trust it and I want to get to the point where I trust myself with it again. But anyway, so that, I do have that coming up and like I said, I do have the one, a new box um, coming for Samhain, a Samhain box coming and I, that might be it. So I'm going to, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think this was a really good box. Um, thumbs up, Witch's Moon. You did a good job again. Um, I just like I, I I did cut down to just the two monthly boxes because I I found there was I was starting to feel like things were repeating with um, especially the two more expensive boxes. I'll probably never stop getting the Ink Goddess Creation box because I really enjoy that one, and it's um it's inexpensive and it's 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 a nice treat. Like even if I didn't have a whole bunch of money I could afford that one so that would that's I love that one so I'll probably never um, but I found that getting I did find that getting the sugar muses and the witch's moon box both of them I was getting a lot of almost repeats so I just I decided to stick with the witch's moon um, on that one so and because it's the one I had done the longest and I really like it so it was there was no I like this one better kind of thing it was just it was really a matter of finances. They're both about 50 bucks, and so that's that gets expensive. But anyway, if you have any questions, please put them down below. Um, I will try to come up with some content that's a little bit more interesting, and I'm not so tired. And I might even make an effort to put some makeup on at some point, but, you know, that's not what it's all about. We should all love ourselves just the way we are. Wouldn't that be wonderful if we all could? But anyway, you guys have a great day. I will, like I said, I'm going to start this as soon as I get my head wrapped around it. But things are in a good place. If you haven't watched the Prosperity Spell, down, you know, a couple of videos ago, that's what I used to manifest my new job. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. So you guys, you should, if, you, if, you're in, if you're needing a change, go, go watch it. Go watch it and see see what you think. All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here, and I will talk to you all later, and stay magical.